Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Turismo 4, part 32. 32? No, it's 33. Yeah, numbers. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be doing the Europe Classic Car League, and I'm already in my Jag E-Type, and it's not going to fucking run properly with all the settings I have, so fuck it. I guess you'll just see it in the race, but yeah. Um, pretty much I've already equipped it with the diff, and... Did I put nitrous on it? I think I put nitrous on it. I'm not sure, but I probably won't even need it anyways. So, uh, Europe Classic Car League. Pretty much, this is like going to be similar competition to the 1,000 Miles event, except European cars only, and I don't know if the AC Cobra is going to be in this either. So, before my shit has a seizure, let's just go in and get started. Uh, all right. Change of plans. Uh... Yeah, it was going to give me one A spec point, and I kind of don't want to do a race that's that easy. So, either we're going to go buy... A, yep, we're going to go buy a car. Fuck. So, uh, so I don't waste any more time in the video. I'm going to go look for a car, and I'll get back wherever I find something. Alright, so I've made a purchase just so the shit doesn't have a seizure. This is what I bought. Alpha Spider 1600. That's not where I wanted to go. Unfortunately, it's the Jag is just too OP for that event, so that's why I had to downgrade quite a bit. And I have no idea, zero idea, how this is going to be against the competition. So just for safe measure, I'm just going to do a few upgrades to this. And... Hopefully everything is going to be fine. I probably should have checked this first, to be honest. Eh, whatever. Anyways. Uh, looks like we got mediums on here. That's whatever. Obviously going to put on the diff, because old school car, open diff stuff. And I'm just going to roll with that for now. So, uh, well, do I need a transmission? Is this thing going to require transmission? Well, no. I'll probably regret this, but no. Anyways, uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't use the E-Type because it's just too powerful for this. So, here we go. Let's uh, see if the AC Cobra shows up. And wouldn't you know it, the Cobra's fucking here. Yay. It's either... The Cobra is such a huge outlier that there's literally no point in me racing against it because I'll have to get something overpowered. And if it doesn't show up, then I'll have an overpowered car, then uh So I'm just going to keep restarting till I don't get the Cobra. All right, that's better. So, uh, gonna do the tuning that I usually do, and we'll get started with this. All right, here we go for one lap around the Norborg Rorg. And it's five A spec points, fantastic. I'm gonna have to do some downgrades in the next race because now I can't end this race or else I'll just skip it entirely so yay well uh yeah now that i know that at least and also another heavy slowdown yay so uh shenanigans aside there are a couple things i do need to talk about so uh first and foremost is uh I'm starting the 1,000 Miles Championship really soon, and it's basically an endurance race championship. And, okay, those guys are just completely left. And this guy's pulling away super fast. Okay, what? Five A spec points, yeah, right. But, uh, so, since 1,000 Miles is coming up pretty soon, that means I'm going to be doing some live streaming because they are basically endurance races. For them, they each last around like 
two and a half to three and a half hours long. So, I got all the streaming shenanigans stuff out of the way. Everything's all set up and ready to go. To have, like, Spotify playing and all the audio being balanced and also set up to where my Spotify won't show up in the recordings for YouTube. So, since all that's taken care of, uh, by the time this video is up especially, you should be expecting some streams of the Thousand Mile series. I might be streaming right now as you're watching this. I'll also post videos notifying everyone when I am live, so there will be that too. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. It should be really interesting. I will have wheel cam in the streams and I can't honestly figure out a way how to separate the wheel cam footage from the game footage. So the YouTube videos are going to have wheel cam in them too, which to be honest, I don't even give a shit at this point. Fuck it. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I've also decided the car I'm going to use for 1,000 miles. I'm going to be using the 69 Camaro. And, on top of that, I'm going to opt for going against the Cobra. Mainly because, one, it's an excuse to make the races go by faster so I can keep my car relatively fast as far as upgrades and my choice of car goes. And, two, uh at least race against something that isn't painfully slow. So those are my reasonings for it. And yeah, now I've pretty much explained everything I've needed to at this point. So, uh, just gotta do this championship, which shouldn't last too long, I hope, and then the Euro Hot Hatch League, which I'll be using the Renault 5 Turbo for. Finally. I've been wanting to use that for a thick minute. And I'm going wide. That's nice. Eh, keep it straight. And that's not happening. Go figure. Figured since I'm going to be really overpowered for this, I might as well do a chase cam video. So. Yay! I probably do half chase cam, half roof cam in thousand miles, who knows. I've done a little bit of practice in the specific race against the Cobra, and I think I've tuned the Camaro just right to make it somewhat decent competition, because I don't want to walk away with it, of course. But, you know, stuff and things. can't remember if I did a weight reduction on the Camaro, though, because that drops the A-spec points a ton. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Don't really have much else to say at this point. So I guess uh, enjoy the somewhat anticlimactic racing because of how overpowered I made this car. Then again, I think stock it wouldn't have a chance against that one alpha. Something else is catching up to that alpha now. Don't know what it is though, but meh. Whatever. Also, the mic quality, or the audio quality as far as the mic goes, should be a lot better because I finally moved the mic closer and disabled RTX voice again because uh, it doesn't matter what I do with it, it just doesn't want to work properly and it just makes everything worse. So you'll be hearing wheel noises and pedal noises again, but fuck it. Just fuck it. I can hear the cars on the other side of the trees. Oh, I actually saw it drive by. Yeah, I think taking off that naturally aspirated upgrade and 
Uh, keeping the NOS on at least will give me a pretty decent fight. Also, this car has zero side mirrors. It's got nothing. Kind of cool, but kind of dangerous. Also, it handles a lot better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to slide around everywhere with skinny-ass tires and whatnot. But it's actually pretty decent. This would be a solid choice for 1,000 miles, but I just don't want to put myself through that kind of torture doing super long races and slow cars. So that's my main excuse for using a Camaro and opting to go with the Cobra. Because like in this series, the Cobra and that one is basically an outlier. It's either... Yeah, it's either you choose something close to that and go against it, or you choose something a fuckload slower if you want competition. I kind of hope a Fiat 500 will show in it to... to yes. Uh, will show up in the championship too. Just to serve as fodder. Like, oh, I ended up 12 laps in front of the Fiat. <laughs> On the Nürburgring. So yeah, once again, I'm empty. Probably hit top speed on this straightaway. Uh, almost touched the grass. Let's just use the NOS, why not? It's a final lap, I'm already way far ahead anyways, who cares? It's like it can only hit top speed if I'm using the NOS. And I'm losing speed on the uphill section. Twenty seven seconds in front of that alpha. A oh, little bit loose now. Kind of upset the car a little bit. Wasn't expecting that. But who cares? I'm super far ahead because I over upgraded the car, but whatever. Oh, and also uh, that other thing passed it the Lotus Salon. Interesting. Oh, looks like they're having a battle, actually. Who will prevail before the... Oh, even though I didn't pass the line, I guess the points will get awarded anyways, so... First race is a win. The Fiat's the fodder in this series. It's going to be fodder in the 1,000 Mile series if it shows up. 10,000 credits. And on to race number two. Right next race at Fuji Speedway 80s, which is an odd choice for a European event. Oh my god. As soon as I clicked that, I remembered. Fuck. I forgot to downgrade this thing. Yay. Also, the emulator does not like starting on Fuji. It has some heavy, heavy, yes, heavy slowdowns. This race should be a hell of a lot shorter too, just two laps around Fuji 80s instead of one around the entire Nürburgring. And going super wide, nice. Oh shit, I also need to adjust the color settings and the options because everything kind of has like a blue tint to it. And 
trying to fix that in Premiere increased the render times drastically, and I just said, screw that, so... Something I probably should fix, too. Yeah. No chicanes this time. It's been a while since I've driven on the 80s course. Because most of the time I'll give you the 90s. A little bit wide, but whatever. Now slowly down the mile long street. Fuji in the background. And brakes. If I would have just stayed on the brakes a hair longer, it would have been perfect. But whatever. I'm going too wide. I did not slow down enough for that turn. Nor did I really care about perfecting it because this is just too easy to begin with and I'm getting kind of careless. I think the Elan made up a little bit of ground. I should probably shift. Also Cone's bunk. Oh, hey look at that more cones. Yeet. Make the way around the final turn. Going into the grass because I'm not paying attention. And across the line. Bada boom. Race number two complete. I'm just going to go ahead and skip through all this stuff. Just to make time flow that much faster. Also, the Alpha took second place this race. It's like they're going to be trading spots quite often. And there we have it. Collecting our next 10,000 credits, and it's time for race number three at... I have no idea where because I never bothered to check before starting this. Looks like it's going to be Opera Paris Reverse. And before I forget, downgrade this fucker, damn it. Alright, so I downgraded the car, and I also fixed the color settings. I hope. Yep, definitely fixed the color settings. It doesn't look blue anymore. Actually, it looks pretty accurate. If anything, a little too bright. So let's try that. And see how this goes. And passing the Fiat before the race even starts. Oh yeah, lowering the brightness just a tad made a huge difference alone. Also, uh, there's some... A little bit of glitchiness going on with the emulator, so... Typical stuff. Can't remember if I did the reverse layout of this recently or not. But I'm going to start getting on the NOS, considering I'm now downgraded. Also going to switch to this view. Because of that. 
I didn't get a glimpse of the A spec points actually, so I'm curious how much that changed it. Also, with only two laps around this place, I gotta make up a lot of ground here. I probably should have qualified, but eh. This makes it a little bit more fun, at least. Use the NOS to catch back up a little bit. This thing has a lot more control than I was expecting whenever I bought it. I always take that turn too slow, it doesn't matter what direction I go. Bonk. Slow down too much again. This guy's pushing me out wide. Right, now just gotta pass this alpha. This alpha thing with numbers and stuff in its name. It's the thing with European cars, like large majority of them are on the large majority of them are just based on like calling them a different number. BMWs, for example. Even like BMW, Mercedes, Alphas. I don't really get it, to be honest. A little bit late on the brake. Actually, no, that was perfect. I thought I was gonna go flying into the wall there. Oh, this time I will. Yep, I could have taken that perfectly, but turned in just a hair early. Just a hair. All the way down the rumble strip because fuck it. Took that turn way too slow once again. I can never get it right. I think it's because I keep thinking it's a 90 degree turn when it's not. Yep, a little bit loose right there, but made it across the line. Race number three complete. Only nine A spec points. What? Even after downgrading this thing. That's a load of bullshit. This thing is worth at least 50 A spec points compared to that other alpha. Ah, fuck it, I guess. 10,000 credits. Time for race number four. I believe it's four. Whatever. Alright, another weird choice, but... Yeah, one lap around Suzuka. Standing start, too, so it should be fairly easy to get to the lead. A little bit more of a slowdown. Just a burst of NOS just to get myself to the lead. Even at like full power, the uh, the NOS is just insanely long lasting in this game. And it gives you, like, a huge punch, too. Now, judging by the way the Lotus is taking off, holy hell. Looks like it's gonna absolutely dominate the Alpha in this one. Me too, probably. I can really rev this thing out. Oh my god, all the way to 7k RPMs and still no rev limiter. Wait a minute. In fifth gear, I hit top speed on the Nurburgring. 
at like 6,500 or something. That was like 6,300, whatever. That's weird. Really weird. Weird. Cones. I always wondered what that chicane is for. And if it's ever even been used in any race ever. Same with the chicane on Tsukuba Circuit after uh, the Dunlop Bridge, whatever that bridge is. I know there's a Dunlop Bridge at uh, Le Mans, but... Yeah. Also, it's rare to come across the uh, Suzuka West track. And just run that layout. They always choose the East with the S's, but never West. So yeah, incredibly short race. Just one lap around Suzuka. Lasting nearly two minutes and 50 seconds. And not that big of a lead over the, uh, the Lotus. But that Julia, man, it fell back a lot. Well, two Julias, I guess I'll call this the GTA, but whatever. So that's race number three, no four, fuck, but, but yeah. 10,000 credits once again, and then we will move on to the final race. I'm going to take a guess at what track we're going to. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just say Lasarth because I can't think of any other track for an event like this. Okay, another weird choice. Deep Forest Raceway Reverse. Did I say that right? Raceway Reverse? I don't know. That just sounded weird to me for some reason, but whatever. Rolling start, oddly. But yeah. Once again, passing the Fiat almost immediately. Around the other thing that I don't know what it is because I haven't been paying attention to the names of the cards and stuff. Man, this track looks gorgeous in these color settings. Oh my. I hope the recording does it justice. This is how all tracks in GT4 should look. Very, very sharp contrast. Problem is, I don't think the... YouTube compression is gonna like this one bit, especially this part. Holy. It just looks fantastic. I'm driving in chase cam this race. Fuck it. Bonk. Is that concrete or gravel? I think it's concrete. Get around the other Alpha, the Julia GTX up. Oh. A little bit of a slide right there. And uh, I'm going to hold off on the NOS for the rest of the race. Just see what happens. It's like the Alpha and the Elan out accelerate me just a tad. So I have no idea where the freaking nine a spec points is coming from but whatever so uh 
I had a plan for the endurance races where I was going to show off the replay portion in the first part of the race till the replay stops recording. But there's a big problem with that on my end. So, as you guys know, the emulator that I'm playing on is it's PCSX2. I have the settings set super high just both for playing pleasure and video quality purposes. And the problem with that is that it keeps slowing down because it's running in such high settings and whenever it slows down that throws stuff out of sync. The plan was to record the replay and throw it on top of the commentary as I was racing until the point where the replay stops recording. But now, I can't do that because the replay is going to slow down in different places than the actual commentary and uh, like live footage is going to get recorded in. So that's going to throw it out of sync. It's going to be way too much effort to figure out like where like where I got to resync it. I pretty much have to watch the entire video and fine tune the editing to make it perfect. So, unfortunately, replays aren't going to happen unless I figure out a way to completely stop all the slowdowns without sacrificing video quality. But it's just something that we're going to have to live with. Then again, Rhino GT4 did it. I'm already doing a lot of similar stuff he's been doing. So, I guess I'm... Not too bothered about it, I guess. I don't fucking know. Anyways, yeah, 10,000 credits. And for winning the championship, I believe it's 35? Oh, uh, just 30. So, boop. And now, like always, prize car time. And a prize for the Europe Classic Car League. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yep. It's a, it's a fucking patent motor wagon. Yep, this thing. Supposedly the world's first technically automobile or motorized vehicle. So let's go check it out. Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. The fuck, where are you? I see Mercury. I see AMG. Oh, it's just Benz. The Benz patent motor wagon. Check out these stats. Sick. It's an inline one. So basically, it's probably like a two stroke or some shit. If those were around way back then, I don't fucking know. Anyways, yes, yeah, stay tuned for more GT4 where we do the Europe Hot Hatch League.